We just got a lot of snow. Let's see how much we got. Five and a half inches. This reminds me of some video footage I just came across where it was freezing out and I threw water in the air. Let's go check that out. All right, this is the hot water. It is freezing out here, so I'm gonna go back inside. Ooh, that warm cappuccino is nice. So I'm super excited about this review. This thing's been sitting on the shelf. Well, not exactly that shelf, but it's been sitting around for a while since I got it at Christmas. It was a present, I wanted it. I have an engineering background, I love tech. This thing is basically a coffee powered gadget. I think Peter McKinnon would love it. Peter, if you watch this, send me a direct message. I'll figure out how to get one sent to you right away. Now here, let me go get it. It's a Stirling engine, which means it uses temperature to make it move. We're gonna see how well it works, how long it'll go for, and do a bunch of other tests as well. If you want one for yourself, check out the link in the description below. Also, hit subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. Now let's go check it out. Absolute complete side note. These free things that you get from people are the best jar openers that money can't buy. I do not know where you buy these things at, but I give them for free from places all over doing advertisements. If you're a store, advertise on these because they are the best. Let's take a closer look at this. The top of it, the fit and finish is pretty nice. Around the edges, there is a little bit where the chroming did not look as nice as the middle part. There's a little bit of a dent on here as well. But overall, that's not gonna bother me. It looks pretty good. I think it's pretty sturdy. You'll find, just because of how it's made, this bottom piece here comes off very easily and just slips right off of there. It does come with an Allen wrench, so you can take this piece off, take the shaft off, and use graphite to lubricate it to make it go faster. So how this works is there's a flywheel at the top, and that's gonna help keep the motion going. There is a piston on the back. What happens is, is this plunger in the bottom, which allows air to go around it, is gonna determine if the air inside is hot and collecting from the bottom, or if it's colder collecting from the top. Whenever it starts to raise up, it's gonna allow hot air in, and that hot air is gonna get into the bottom of this piston piece and push this up due to expansion. Once it pushes it up, the flywheel is gonna kick this plunger down to get the cold air in there, which will pull it down due to contraction. Not probably as big of a force as the hot air part. And then it's just gonna continue that sequence with the hot air pushing the plunger up and the cold air pulling it down and the fly will just keep air and everything in motion. And you just reverse that if you have cold on the bottom. This thing looks really cool. Let's do a quick montage. <laughs> This is exactly 204 degrees Fahrenheit. That's close to the max temperature 100 C or 212 before we go. And then we'll use the stopwatch to see how long it goes. So this thing with the hot water, it is flying. It's really not very loud at all. Here, let me, I'm gonna put the mic really close to it as we do this to see how loud it is. You can have this at your desk at work or in your office and it probably wouldn't annoy you too much. It'd be a fun little thing just to have here. Go get a cup of hot water, just sit down there, get it spinning and create a conversation around it. But I'm gonna switch to time-lapse mode because I don't want to sit here and record all the footage of this. Holy cow, I was not budgeting my time today for over a half an hour for this thing to keep going. And it's still going. It looks like it's so close to stopping here. I was kind of hoping for 15, 20 minutes at the most, but half an hour plus, this is awesome. But let's see how long it takes to finish up. Ha <laughs> Finally, at 34 minutes, it has stopped. 
That was much longer than I expected. I am very pleased by that. Pretty impressive, actually. I wonder if I used a Yeti tumbler and the heat didn't escape from the sides, how long it would go. Maybe that's another video. Underneath here, whew, you can see that the water condenses there because you're doing a temperature difference here. So that water could condense right along there. This water's still pretty hot. Let's see how hot it is when it stopped. So right around 150 degrees is the point where it stops, so the water needs to be warmer than that. I want to try something else out too. It said that you could put ice in here as well. We get tons of snow outside, so we're going to use that. All right, we got our snow here. I'm going to try, like the saying says, when in doubt, use salt. That's not a saying, but sometimes salt can keep things a little bit colder than it normally will get to and reduce that melting point. So let's put that on here and see if that doesn't uh, help cool it down a little bit more to get this thing going. And I can feel that this is very cold, but it's struggling to make it over this little bit here with the cold. I'm pretty sure if I put this on a block of ice and get better thermal transfer, this would work way better than my cup of ice or cup of snow that I tried out. I've seen a lot of people have success with that. I'm very happy with the Sterling engine. It's a cool gadget. It looks great on the desk, in the office, or just somewhere to start a conversation because people are gonna ask about it. If you like technology, engineering, or any of those things, you're gonna love this thing. Again, there's a link in the description below so you can get it for yourself. This thing will last a long time if you put it on a cup of hot water just like this. It's not too noisy and you can always use some graphite to get it a little bit better. Just be careful, make sure not to burn yourself when you're using it. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of it below and if there's other gadgets like this that you know of, I'd be really curious to hear about them. This has been Paul with the Sterling Engine Model Z1. Thank you for watching. This is definitely not sponsored, but if you ever find yourself in Haiti, pick up Rebo Coffee. This is the good stuff.